Dinosaur Bones is the title for our story today. It's written and illustrated by Bob Barner. And this is one of those wraparound covers that front continues to the back. And we start with some dinosaur footprints. Dinosaur Bones. Dinosaurs are gone for good. The last dinosaurs lived a long, long time ago. Dinosaurs became extinct because climate changes made it hard for them to find enough food. Maybe dinosaurs once lived in your neighborhood. The first dinosaur bones were discovered in England in the 1820s. Since then, dinosaur fossils have been found all over the world. Fossils are bones and footprints that have been preserved in the Earth's crust. Dinosaurs had teeth to bite and jaws to chew. The shape of the jaws and teeth help scientists find out if a dinosaur was a meat or plant eater. Dinosaurs with sharp teeth like this T-Rex were meat eaters. They walked the earth when those bones were new. Tyrannosaurus rex means king of tyrant lizards. Its arms were so short it couldn't even scratch its chin. The first T-Rex skeleton was found in Montana in 1902. A T-Rex skull can weigh up to 750 pounds. They had bones for legs and bones for hips. Scientists study the bones to find out more about dinosaurs. Some dinosaurs had hips like birds, others had hips like lizards. Many dinosaurs were giants, but some were the size of a chicken. Dinosaur bones used on long dinosaur trips. Some dinosaurs traveled and hunted in groups or herds. Living in groups helped protect them from predators. Ancient footprints show that baby dinosaurs were often protected from predators by walking in the center of the herd. They had bones with discs and bones with points. Stegosaurus had pointed bones on its back. Its small head held a brain the size of a walnut. Bones for running with sockets and joints. Stegosaurus spent most of the time munching plants to feed its huge body. It used the spikes on its tail to fight attacks from meat-eating dinosaurs like T-Rex. Today only bones are left to show. Triceratops had a skull one-third the length of its body. It gathered plants with its turtle-like beak and chewed food with teeth in the back of its mouth. But dinosaurs rumbled and creaked long, long ago. Triceratops means three-horned face. This plant eater was generally peaceful. However, it used its long horns to fight when attacked. Triceratops was one of the last dinosaurs to exist. So when you see dinosaur bones at a museum in town, scientists put together dinosaur bones like a puzzle. They use chisels, 
diamond saws, and dental drills to remove the bones from rock. The skeletons are held together with metal wire and pipes. Remember, a dinosaur once used them to get around. Brachiosaurus weighed more than 10 elephants. It was one of the heaviest and longest dinosaurs. A heavy Brachiosaurus used its long neck to reach tender leaves at the tops of trees. Triceratops, Tyrannosaurus rex, Eupocephalus, Brachiosaurus, Parasaurolophus, Spinosaurus, Stegosaurus, and Compsothamus, or something like that. And it shows you um, how tall they could be. The feet on this side. And then it tells you about uh, what they ate, uh, what it was its name, what it ate, how long it was, how much did it weigh, and what did its footprint look like in the back of the book. So if you like dinosaurs, we have a bin, separate bin, that's got all dinosaur books in it. And uh, come and check them out. This will be in the bin that uh, says that I've read it. Plus, there's another one that's in the dinosaur bin. So there are two copies of this particular book. Okay, see you soon. Come and read, read, read. Bye-bye.